Hey guys, Quertable here. Um, time to show you guys my EDC update for 2024. A lot of cool stuff, a lot of neat things to test out. And yeah, thank you for joining me on this beautiful cloudy day. And let's get it going. Alright, so from head to toe, here we go. <laughs> uh, so my new hat is uh, it's a, from a company called Warnstar. <clears throat> it's a little uh, cadet hat or scout hat. I don't know what they call them. A little military style. A little pouch right here. All I have in here is a tar pick. And I like these caps just because they fit around the head very uh, my head good. And the, the, the visor is long enough to cover my long face. <laughs> and... Uh, Let's go down to the neck area. So I have my little talisman here for my pouch, my medicine pouch, if you will. I carry this for protection for myself and for peace of mind. I collect ashes from our campfires in here. I have a little bit of, um, hold on, let me see. I have this ring my girlfriend it's a little memento and then palo santo so i can burn it and then there's a pink amethyst in here just to receive good vibrations from the you know the cosmos and stuff yeah that's what i carry in my medicine pouch oh and these are wolf teeth can't verify 100% if they are, but I like to think that they are. Yeah. And then down to the chest area, I have my my True Knight Archer Pro. If you remember, I had a, the smaller version of this. I kept having issues with that one because it had it would turn uh, it fell, and then it wouldn't turn back on. So now I I went. But this one, a little bit better. It has a dimmer setting on it too. And yeah, it just works out for everything that I need it for. All right, so the next item is my jacket. So let me take off the backpack. So this is my Dubu jacket. It's the same as James, except black. And it's the same setting, same almost everything my judgment on this jacket is still on the fence about it I'm not 100% convinced on it I mean it's good for every day but um, extreme temperatures it's I found it to be a little thin ish for it but nothing layering can beat and it's the same thing it's a uh, I have a battery side of here Connect this guy. Get the readout. 100% all the way. It doesn't show on camera. It looks like it's moving, but in person it says 100%. Yeah, let me just disconnect that. So we'll use up the battery. And uh, yeah, it's got a detachable hood on it. I like the hoodies a little bit more than James does, I think. Yeah. Cool beads. And then pockets. Almost forgot. So in the first right side pocket, I have a little pair of gloves. They're just little cheapy dollar ones. I don't tend to focus too much on that, but maybe I should. Just my keys. Little red cloud collective key fob, and then just that. <laughs> and that's it. All right, so now for my left side pocket. It's my my phone, iPhone 11. I know you can see all the cracks and stuff, <laughs> but if you're curious, the case is from a brand called uh, Nilkin. 
There we go. And I think the um, the the name is Defender. And it has a little for your finger. Keep it standing when you're watching YouTube, whatever. And then it has this little lens cover. It's pr that's the only reason I got it for. Yeah. Cool stuff. So let's take off the jacket. Okay, so the pockets. I have a lot of stuff in there. First, it's a little lighter. It's crypto. And then my wallet. It's a little. This is a deer skin. And uh, just a little um, spearhead right there. Arrowhead, sorry. And then um, this is a Brixton brand. <clears throat> I can't tell you what exactly the model name is. I just know that they made this one in partnership with Fender. So I'm pretty sure this isn't, this isn't available anymore. But I've had this on for more, more than six years. And, uh, and here's uh, inside the pick pocket is the Cuervo Negro pick. This is the last of its kind. It's prototype pretty much. I didn't like the way how it was crooked right here. But it's cool. And then just, you know, cool stuff inside. <laughs> All right, so let's get on with the, the cool side, the left side, all the grown-up stuff. So right now I'm testing out the Bear Forest knives, the simple. And this one is a Puko style, Scandi grind. Um, I love this design. I love this color right here. But yeah, I really love this design. I think it's a perfect match for me since it's I like thinner blades, but to have a little bit of power behind it and then I had this little charm attached to it I like to put my thumb uh, sorry my pinky inside of it so it has some retin so it stays on my hand in case it does want to slip from sweat or water or whatever and then it comes with this kydex sheath very cool black and brown those are my colors I love those color combinations and then now we go with the next item which is the the Swiss Army Outrider. It's very reminiscent to the um, the Trekker, Swiss Army Trekker from the blade. It has very like almost everything it has the, the Trekker has. And there's a little saw. But the special attachments that I loved about it has scissors and a long extended screw, uh, screwdriver. Little corkscrew. I am a bit of a wine connoisseur, so these are accents that really help. <laughs> they also make it look cool when you bust out your Swiss Army to keep the party going. And uh, yeah, it has a, sorry, I forgot, an awl too. I tend to use this a lot for leather work and yeah, just making incisions and things. I use it also to open boxes so I don't have to gunk up the, the main blade. And yeah, it has a, it has a tweezers and a little toothpick on it too. So the reason I have the Outrider is because I was moving and I lost my my trekker. I haven't been able to find it. I don't know if it's still there, but I had to I had to buy something similar to it because they stopped manufacturing the that type of trekker. So the Outrider just spoke to me and here it is. It's here to meet you guys. And then the sheath it's in is the Red Cloud Collective brand and then on the butt pocket it's the bandana 
This is one of the first, no, sorry, I think that was the second run we did with bandanas for the Jenkard Fox. Woo! So you guys saw what I have in my person, and now let's go to the, the bag. Uh, I know you guys are used to seeing me with a haversack, but I'm experimenting now with the backpack, so we'll see how that goes. I know you guys are used to seeing us with haversacks, but it's always good to change things up. So this is the Roaring Fire Deegan backpack, waxed canvas. So I love the design. I think it's a perfect shape for every day. It's not too big, it's not too small. Of course, I love the brown on it. And so yeah, right now it's looking, it's, it's working pretty good for me. So let's talk about the exterior. And I added this Go Next uh, sheath. It's for the for your water containers or whatever, your tumblers or your containers. And uh, I added it with um, the Molly they added here on the side. Originally, the 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 original uh, place for your water is I think for me it's a little too small. I like to carry at least thirty to forty ounces of water with me. Just it's just a personal preference for me, and so yeah, it doesn't impede the movement too much, and it's not. I know it looks kind of awkward, but it works for me, and that's all that matters. <clears throat> and then you got your Cuervo Negro patch, and um, let's go with the little added uh, pouch here. <laughs> so this is what I made to be like a fire kit a little so the first item is uh it's not what it is it's a little uh char cloth char tender uh it has little matches yuko matches and the strikers right there get your fire going and then a little wipe <laughs> just one a little wet wipe you never know what you might need it for. Alright, so I also carry a first aid kit in here. Always like to have a little antiseptic and band-aids and stuff like that. You know, you get you get yourself little tornitos and uh, mesquite spikes and they can be very uncomfortable. <laughs> so it's good to always have a little, at least a little one. And then in here, I have a little set of matches. Uh, a viewer sent this to us a long time ago. I can't remember his name. But if you're watching, friend, I really appreciate it. I use it when I have to. And thank you. But it has a little ferro rod right here. And then it has matches and strikers right there. Uh, sandpaper, sorry. But yeah. Just regular hand sanitizer. Cause you can't wash your hands or you know it's always good to have it and then this item isn't very fire making but <laughs> so you got your fire making and your first aid for yourself but you also need a first aid for your life so it's good for carbon blades and you know your wood handles organic materials so this stuff is cool i like it and that's pretty much it for the little pouch outside so let's go on the this pocket. And here is my altar. There will be an Etsy shop coming up soon where I'll be selling um, portable altars for anybody that's interested. And inside, I have an incense holder, a clay incense holder, some sage, uh, dragon's blood incense, protective salts, rainwater, just a candle. The black doesn't really signify anything, it's just for lighting. It's my spiritual EDC. <laughs> Cool. 
But yeah, keep a lookout on my Instagram. I will be posting it up maybe next month, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. All right, so let's go with the bottom front pouch. So in here, I have a little uh, journal type thing. It's from Phoenix. I remember they sent James like a thank you gift, like Christmas present. I think it had a like a flashlight that was a charger, and then they sent this little uh, journal pad with it too. So yeah, thank you. And then a pen, very cool, very, very EDC. And then here is my Leatherman Wingman. Right now it's in here because the normally it's in the sheath where with the Red Cloud Collective one, but it, right now the Outrider is using it. And uh, I always like to carry this guy around with me. I think it's it has pretty much everything the the Outrider has too. Scissors and um, but I think it has a stronger uh, pliers to it when you go fishing or whatever you whatever the necessity is. Let's talk about the main compartment. So the cool thing about this backpack is the zippers go all the way down. And on this side too. That just helps to widen the, the the opening so in case you need to really reach down there and you can't. <laughs> so yeah. So let's talk about its contents. So first is my secondary bandana. It's from Petal 10. One use, it has a million uses of course, but one thing I do use it for is for like a... Uh, Alter cloth. So in case you don't want to get your tin sticky on something or whatever, or you just want to make it look nice, you know, it's a good size too for it. You can tell it has burn marks in there. But yeah, it's a at least one use I use bandana for. And then the next item, a little solar powered uh, charging, a portable charger. Sorry. And it has a little flashlight. It has its ports right here. And then on this side, it has this hanging mechanism in case you want to hang it next to the, in front of the sun. And uh, just leave it there. And then it has a compass. I checked it out. It's pretty accurate. And then the brand is Lavor or Blaver. Cool beans. And then my next uh, item is a collapsible bag from Campcraft Outdoors, which is waxed canvas too. I hope you can still see it. But yeah, in case you need to gather seeds or put something that won't gather moisture inside of it. That's what I like to use it for. And then the next item is secondary light. It's the Olight uh, Warrior Mini 2. If you guys want to check out the review on this one, it could be somewhere up there. But yeah, I always think, similar to James, it's I always think you should have a stronger light inside of your bag and your everyday one on you. But yeah, it's always good to have an extra one. And then the next item is uh, <laughs> my fire titanium, and it's all dirty. <laughs> but yeah, it's always good to have a cooking utensil in your bag too. Oh yeah, so I was pulling them out from these inside pockets. All right, so the next item is the Yuko uh, Sprout, a little battery-powered light. I like to hang this in the tent 
I'm going to bed already. Or just in general, it's always good to have an extra light on you. And then a little black paracord, of course. Nothing too special about it. Just bunched up like that. It took me forever to make it look nice like this. <laughs> but yeah, it's cool. And then another fire making item is the pen fire. A little string. And it has ferro rod shavings on there, pine pitch, and some other kind of tinder thing. It's like rope. But it's all soaked up in pine pitch and ferro rod shavings. I love the way this stuff smells. I try not to use it just because I like how it smells. <laughs> but yeah, it's another way to keep the fires going or to make the fire come alive. Sadly, this company doesn't make stuff anymore, but that's another reason why I don't want to use it. So just a couple of more items in here. There's a little army container cup or army cup whatever this thing has seen a lot of adventures as you can tell but I always it's hard for me to change it or to let go of it just because how reliable they are stainless steel I think yeah and then something I'm trying new is this back pocket I'm carrying a it's from a yuko grill I haven't used it yet, so obviously, but uh, it's from a little portable grill. I always think you always kind of need these two, you know, when you're cooking. And yeah, so I'm experimenting with this. It also helps keep the backpack shape. All right, so the last item is uh, my spade. It's hard to let this guy go, too. But, uh... A spade comes in handy for a number of reasons, whether you're trying to dig out roots from a plant or if you're looking for soap, yucca soap, it's good to have this guy with you to dig them out. It's also helpful when you got to go number two. And yeah, it's good to have a spade. I mean, also sometimes when you're digging through rocks, it's hard. I'm uh, sorry, when you're digging through sand, there's a lot of rocks and things like that and you can damage your hands so it's good to have a spade to pry things also it can also be used as a weapon it all depends on the imagination which you can dig up <laughs> but yeah all right so let's close this up just for it won't collapse on us let's talk about the exterior one more time so on this side I love this feature of the backpack. It has this um, handle. You close it up and you carry it like a briefcase in case you don't want to be carrying it on your bag or something. Be carrying it on your back. There you go. And then it has these padded uh, straps with Molly on it. It has this adjustable chest rig. Not sure what they call them. Sorry for the sand. But yeah, I love this. And you can also remove the straps from it too. And tie them up together. And then it has a secret compartment right here. And then we'll find out what's in there next time. On the Junkyard Fox channel. <laughs> All right, so the last item is a special one. Sorry. So it's time to, for an upgrade. This is the Taurus 805 Ultralight Revolver. It's a six shot. And our buddy Shadow inspired me to get one. But yeah, it's time to boost up the defenses, leveling the field, and have some leverage over situations and be able to defend myself, my tribe, my loved ones, and all that good stuff. And then here, just a little rinky dink red field sheath will uh, upgrade it soon to a leather one. Let's go with the leather, the black. So yeah.
There you go. And it fits in there perfectly too, so that's a plus. Well, folks, that's about the conclusion for Cuervo Negro's new EDC update for winter 2024. Just like me, he got a ton of new gear to test out for the new year. So he's testing out the Dubu self-heating jacket, just like me. With both of us testing it out, we'll have more information and experiences to share with you for that review. Of course, he's replacing his haversack for now with a backpack, trying that out. And that Roaring Fire pack is beautiful, really handsome pack. And of course, a new knife from Bear Forest Knives. And then, of course, a new Pew Pew with that Taurus revolver. Both of us were far overdue to upgrade our self-defense because this is a crazy world and only getting crazier. So, you know, better be prepared for everything. And we finally upgraded our self-defense. With that being said, I know last week when I did film my EDC update, I did promise a giveaway for a brand new extra wallet and tracker card. So now let's select a winner. So thank you all so much who liked and commented on that video. Time to select a random winner. Tell me when you're ready, Cuervo. And the winner has seven days to reach out to us so we can get your address, ship out your new wallet. If seven days pass, a new winner will be selected. You got it? Yep. Okay. And the winner is Red Dirt 5489 who says, Very cool. Can't wait to see what turns out to be your new favorite EDC. Oh, and Snake Eater. So congratulations, Red Dirt 5489. I hope you enjoy your new wallet. Please reach out to us within seven days. If not, it... It's only fair that a new winner will be selected. So as always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any pointers for Cuervo, any suggestions, any criticisms on his loadout, on his gear. Is there something he's overlooking or forgetting or he needs to upgrade? Let us know down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We will be camping next week, so we'll see you then. Now go outside and get your boots dirty. <laughs>